Hey everybody, Zulmame is here, and I am back from my trip in Florida. It was awesome. Um, we went to the Orlando Studios. We went to Orlando Universal Studios. We stayed in a nice hotel. We stayed, and um, I got to experience my first ever hurricane. I actually experienced a hurricane. It was kind of scary. <laughs> um, if you don't know. Um, I'm gonna put up a picture right here of Hurricane Hermine. The, um, the hurricane that I experienced. So, yeah. So, I have things that I'm going to be unboxing from my trip. Hold on. You have something there underneath my last bag. Cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I'm gonna be unboxing things that I got from my trip. Well,. And one of these boxes are Zetas, one of these boxes are mine. You'll probably know what these are right off the bat if you've ever been to Orlando Studios. So, let's kick it off. Okay, so the first one I have is this little box right here. Yes, it's so nice. It's very nice. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter Universal Studios. Okay. This one's Zetas. I don't remember which one she got. Okay. I got LA. Okay. Woo. Pretty map. Cool map. That's a cool map. The same thing goes for here too. This one shows all the spells. Um Turn to Roga. Um Incendio. 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 Irolegi. Middle Jinx, Silencio, Specialis Revelio, Wingardium Leviosa, which is my one of my favorite ones. Reparo, which was a which was a cool one too. Locomotor Bellows, Locomotor Bellows, Aquamente, I saw saw that one in the in Descendio. Freaking cool. Um There's more of the same one uh, spells here. Cool. Uh, <laughs> how to cast a spell? Get the one ready. Yeah, I know how to cast a spell. I'm a big Harry Potter fan already. Okay, so inside the box, so cool. Okay, nice, 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 nice little. Oh, it's Hermione Granger's wand. It's a neat wand. It's actually very nice. Uh, actually looks a lot like Hermione Granger's wand. A little bit out of tune, but you know. Godrium Liviosa. I'm doing it! Oh my god! Okay. I'm done. <laughs> uh, if you guys want to see me do that trick again, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> am I right? Damn. Because, you know, I'm pro at magic. Am I right? Okay. Enough with acting like a fast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So cool. Zeta, you got the cool, one of the really cool ones. Okay, I I know exactly what mine is. Considering, so when I went into um, Ollivander, I got chosen, and look at that, it's so cool. I got Ollivander's Makers of Fine Wands since 382 BC. Awesome. Okay, slip and slide, but slip and slide. Awesome. It's upside down. So it's backwards. Crap. <laughs> That'll do. Um. Hogsmeade. Cool. Diagon Alley. Okay. Cool. <laughs> okay. So, gonna pull out my wand, which was custom. It's a custom wand. How awesome is that? 
Um, I was actually told by the guy who runs the show, he's an actor. Well, I believe he wasn't. My wand is my wand. I was a chosen one. Stay away from my wand. Also, I'll have to kill you. I won't kill you. But. Reductive. Awesome. Expelliarmus. Uh, I need a professional editor for this. Uh, oh, wait, I forgot to show you what mine looks like perfectly. My handle is its really neat. I mean, they make a different custom wand. I'm pretty sure. Because I was told that this is not a wand from the show. So, go ahead. <laughs> Showbiz. Alright. I also have bags. I also have bags, but I don't know where to put the bags. But that is really cool. Um, Ollivanders, I love you. Thank you. Thanks for giving me such fine wands since 382. Um, so that was just a small unboxing video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, shall I talk a little bit about the trip before I go? <laughs> Hello. Okay. Um, so the first day we, we went, um, we were on, we were on the plane for about three hours. We went through airport security for about an hour and a half, or something like that. I'm pretty sure it was an hour, um, just going through airport security. Um, we took an hour and a half drive to Toronto, maybe, well, no, hour drive to Toronto. Um, and then we got on the plane. We don't, well, it's quite a while away from where... Uh, well, we took a quite a long drive, um, and we made it to the airport. So we drove. So we took a long flight, three-hour flight. Um, well, something like that. I'm pretty sure it was three hours. But uh, we got to Florida, and um, about t about three days before we went to Florida. Um, there was a predicted storm, Tropical Depression 9, and it was already, and they said that it will make landfall as a tropical storm slash hurricane by Friday, which was the day we left. And, um, it didn't. It actually, it was, instead of going up straight into Florida, it went down. It curved. It went down. It turned. So the Tropical Depression strengthened in that time and the winds became more severe blah 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 by the time it was and by the time about on uh on Saturday we kept on watching the news and it and and instead of keeping on its path and going straight to another city to another con country or yeah prop state instead of going to another state it went it the forecast said that the winds coming from the, there was a wind draft coming and that wind draft was going to push it on and curve all the way back to Florida and smack dead on Florida and hit Orlando which we were staying at and um, we were really scared I mean we were pretty scared in fact I think I might be able to show you the map right here and you'll be able to see the whole problem okay so after that um i'm just talking about the storm i know and that's basically what i got to tell you guys about because that was the only thing that really that really scared me in the trip and <laughs> everything was fantastic except for that i mean i was excited that i was going to experience a hurricane but the hurricane never came well it did come my bad <laughs> okay on sunday night the storm had strengthened and it strengthened quite a bit. Instead of having 20 uh, miles per hour, mile per hour winds, it increased to about 30 mile per hour winds, which I know that's not very much. It's about 40, 50 kilometers per hour um, gust speed, but it was strengthening, and it was strengthening really fast considering the storm front and the cold front that came from the, the from down 
from from up from upper upper United States and then the and then the storm the wind front and storm front that came from Vegas and um, it turns out I was right it did strengthen quite a bit it was and by that time it said they said that it was going to keep on its trajectory path and and curve straight to Florida and it was going to do a really sharp turn which has never been seen in a hurricane before and then when that happened we decided what if we what if what if it actually what if it strengthens into a hurricane by Friday we got there on Friday and then we but not Friday okay I got home yesterday okay <laughs> this is already a mess um as I was saying we got home we were we said what if it turns into a hurricane by the time we were supposed to be home and um turns out it wasn't much of a big deal um if it did turn into a hurricane and it did and, and it, if it did and if it kept on its trajectory path we would just stay another day in Florida which didn't happen because if it did our flight would be cancelled and I'd be on the plane right now so obviously didn't hit didn't hit us um by Monday um uh, the storm had really strengthened and it turned in and it was predict predicted to turn into a tropical storm and if I'm and if I'm not lazy I'll put up a picture right here again to show you it when it was a tropical st storm um so it did turn into a tropical storm by about Monday or Tuesday and the gusts and the gust speed was about 50 miles per hour it was strengthening really quickly and by Wednesday it was predicted to be a hurricane her the first hurricane Hermine uh, yai 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 because there was five Hermines the one that's happening right now in f uh, off the coast of Florida it is the it is 2016 Hermine it was a one in 1980, 1990, 1990s, 1990s, 1999, 2005, 2010, and now 2016. And that's the f and they were all tropical depressions or tropical storms. This Hermine actually was the only one to actually turn into a hurricane, which was fascinating. I really hurricanes are fascinating. Okay, um, so we managed to get. My Wednesday it turned into a it would it, it was strengthening really fast. By Thursday, it was a hurricane. It turned into a Category One, and it was predicted to become a Category Two. It was in between Category One and Category Two by the time it strengthened into a hurricane. And I was on the deck. I was on the deck of our hotel. I was on the deck of our hotel using my phone as a radar. And my sister was right beside me doing the same thing. My dad was watching the TV, seeing if it would strengthen and hit or end. But it did change its path. Instead of going straight for Orlando, it did do its sharp turn. But then it went more northwest, nor northeast. And um, we didn't get bombarded by a hurricane. But I did experience some of it. I mean, I saw it from above I saw it from above the plane I don't have any images of that sorry but we did get to experience a hurricane so that was cool yeah pretty cool okay there's one more thing that I want to talk about I'm making a new series and it's going to be similar to Matthias's ask Matt um I just want you guys to make sure of a name because there's gonna be a poll right here right here right here right now um, I want you to, I want you to take a name. Should it be Ask Zol, or should it be Zoltan asks your questions, or what should it be? Because I already have uh, reading your comments. It's just so it should it be Ask Zoli, or Ask, or, or Zoli answers questions. Doesn't matter. Just vote for it, and whatever it is, we'll do it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, why was I? Do Jack's got the guys outro for a second. 
Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, please leave a like, subscribe. Oh, and share this video because, come on, because I said so. Okay, peace.